Hi friends, welcome back to the channel Job Updates by Bharma. I give daily job updates as well as career guidance, interview tips as well as different things in our channel. If you have come first time in our channel, you can subscribe, you will get lots of things in our channel. So in today's video, I will discuss about how to crack this is coding round without having any knowledge in coding. So uh, there are lots of students from non-CS background as well as non-IT background and also those students who have less knowledge in coding uh, from the CS and IT background also those can clear this CCS online uh, coding round so it's a very important video for all of you and uh, I know that exam of TCS is near at your uh, you have received the notification of the TCS online round so I am just preparing this video to help you guys so that you can clear the coding round if you have no knowledge in coding just you need to watch this video very carefully and you need to just apply the trick which I am going to discuss in this video then you will definitely clear the TCS online coding round so uh, let's start this video let's jump into this strategy what we need to follow so please watch this video till end otherwise you will not understand what I am going to show you or how to apply the trick in your coding round examination so let's start so basically what you will need to do there let me first explain you that how the TCS evaluate the coding round so basically TCS will not check the each of the students code there okay so lots of students are giving the examination each and every year so there is a system where uh, they can check the test cases the students have cleared so this is only evaluates how many test cases the student is clearing so that is the main funda here so they are not checking the code so if you were able to manage the coding section to print the test cases uh, in, in such a fashion that you can clear the test case round test case check of this is round then you will be able to clear the round so you just need to have the basic knowledge of uh, input taking and just printing knowledge of hello world program okay so I know that all the students all the students who are uh, sitting for this IT examination for this uh, coding round they have this basic knowledge that how to take the input and how to print hello world okay so if you don't have knowledge you can just check over the internet that how to print hello world and uh, how to take the inputs so uh, by using if condition we will be able to print uh, that test cases so you are getting my point right what i am going to show you uh, so just watch this video till end i will show you the trick so let me tell you what are the test cases okay so basically two type of test cases will be available in TCS coding round one is the public test case another one is the hidden test case so what is the public test case that test cases will be present uh, in the equation itself so the student will be able to apply the coding based on that test cases or uh, they will apply the trick based on those test cases so uh, the hidden test cases is present uh, for an internal check from the side of TCS so you need not to take worry about hidden test cases okay so it may happen that public test cases also including the some of the test cases of hidden test case scenario so let me tell you the weightage of these two test cases there is 50% weightage for public test cases as well as 50% weightage for hidden test cases so if you clear uh, one of this test case portion or one of this section then you will be able to clear the round because uh, last for the last few years we have checked we have seen the cutoff fees uh, very less for this is online coding round because there are they know that lots of non cs it students are also giving this examination so that's why the coding cutoff is lesser than uh, compared to other companies this is other companies uh, coding round so basically the weightage of the test cases you need to clear is 20 to 30 percent if you just clear 20 to 30 percent of the test cases then you are eligible to clear the cutoff so I will show you that how we'll get 50 percent of the cutoff marks okay 50 percent above the cutoff marks so if you are able to clear the public test cases and hidden test cases then it's a plus point and you will able to clear the cut off round very cle clearly or very easily okay so how many test cases actually uh, 
we need to clear in this is coding round there may be two questions or three questions asked if the question length is short then two question will, will be asked or if the question length is larger then you need to ask uh, you need to get three questions so um, more or less four to five test cases you need to clear from those list of test cases uh, of the total questions they have asked okay so let me show you the questions for the last two years so you can see this is one question where they are mentioning uh, some input criteria and some output criteria so basically I just want to mention once again that if you have the knowledge of taking input and uh, printing concept of hello world then you are ready to go okay so if the total number of monkeys is sitting on a branch of the huge tree as traveler offers bananas and peanuts so this is the main question so this is a large question you need not to just go through the full question you just need to go through the input and output portion so where they have mentioned that write a code to take the input like n m p k j and return the number of monkeys left on the tree so you just need to take the input of these section okay like you can see the test cases they have given is input will be taken as 20 2 3 12 12 then output need to show 10 or the number of monkeys left on the tree is 10 uh, so let me first show you these questions and uh, show you the trick here okay so you need to just open the online compiler here and uh, firstly what you need to do the you need to clear all the pre-written pre uh, pre-written code here from the section so you will also get the console in the tcs in qt portal you just need to clear all the other lines you just need to keep hash and float studio dot h int main this uh, main uh, main section of the code and you need to write the return zero so uh, i am showing you in language c so you will be able to clear this round in python also in java also but i will prefer to go with c because uh, c is the primary or uh, primary language for all the students so if you have knowledge of taking input and printing the output then using c is the better option so let's first go to go to the test section for the first question so i need to take input for one two three four five five variables okay so i'm going to uh, declare five variables So you are able to understand I am taking five variables that is n is the total number of monkeys k is the number of eatable bananas j is the number of eatable peanuts m is the total number of bananas p is the total number of peanuts okay so remember that the monkey will always eat bananas and peanuts so there is no possibility of k and j having a value zero okay so we have this knowledge now we need to do the taking of input We need to write scan f percent d percent d percent d percent d and percent d five percent d will be there and then comma then m percent n for taking the input m percent k m percent j m percent m m percent p so we are ready to go just we need to create the if block there so so if these inputs are 22 3 12 and 12 
then output value will show the number of monkeys left on the tree colon 10 okay so L equal equal 20, K equal equal 2 and J equal equal 3 and M equal equal 12 and P equal equal 12. then we just need to open the curly braces there and we need to print there the total number of the number of monkeys left on the tree is says 10 okay so this will be our input section or in 10k here we are declaring the variables and then we are taking the input and checking the if condition so you need to do the same thing so just click on run i need to give the semicolon there so here the input console has come I need to give the values there just I am giving the test cases values ok you can see the number of monkeys left on the tree is 10 so successfully I am able to print the output ok so you need to follow the same trick in any of the questions so you are understanding what I am trying to give you or what I am trying to say in you that how will you will be able to clear the test case so this trick can be followed in any of the question if you understand what is the test case and if you really understand how to apply the trick in the test case and you will be able to print the output according to the question and you will be able to clear the round so I am showing you the another question second question the same trick there so you can see for the second question one series is given and it is a mixture of two series odd term series which is forming a geometric series and event term series so what is I need to do I need to write a program for nth term find, find in this series so obviously I need not to write the logic here so what I will do here I will go to the test case portion here you will be able to see there are two test case one is input 16 output is 2187 and test case 2 is input is 13 and input will be uh, sorry the output will be 64 the output will be 64 so I need to just print this portion so let go to the console part just uh, just I need to remove this portion I'm showing you for this question what you need to do so you just need to declare one variable in here and you just need to take one input variable scanf function here one percent d will be there i think you are getting my point what i am trying to show you so so here will be if n equal equal 16 the input is 16 then what i need to print there or what will be the output output will be 2187 so I need to print just print just 2187 so uh, this will be one test cases and another test cases in similar fashion I need to write here that if n equal equal 13 that is the second test case the output will be 64 it is very simple you are understanding what I am trying to show you 
so just run this code and if I am giving as input 16 then it will showing me the output of 187 and if I give the input 13 again I am running the code to check the second condition that is 13 then also it is giving 64 so you are understanding you will be able to clear the test cases so this is very simple process that I want to show you and uh, if you have no coding knowledge you will be able to clear the TCS coding round so please let me know if you really have any comments or if you have any doubts in the comment box and you can follow my Instagram challenge job, job updates by Varma and if you think it's really helps you please hit the like button which is gives us motivation and hit the subscribe button to subscribe us to get this type of contents so I will give you tell you all the best guys you will definitely clear the coding round so best of luck give the exam very carefully thank you please hit the subscribe and like button take care